Hi, it's Artie from Brown Bear Herbs. Today I wanted to talk to you about herbies and um, herbal formula I have available in my shop on brownbearherbs.com for herbies. This is great for all you people with herpes out there, but you can also use this for uh, prevention for the coronavirus. And I'll also talk briefly about um, two other products I sell for Sexy Time that are just a lot more sexy. Okay, so there's Herpes One, which is mostly transmitted orally, but it can you can get it genitally. And 67% of the global population has it. And that is according to, of the like um, adult population, has it according to the World Health Organization. So it's considered, it's called oral herpes traditionally, but you can get it um, on your genitals. And this remedy that I'm sharing with you, I, I really only know people who've used it for this herpes one, but I'm guessing that it would work for herpes two. Herpes two is exclusively for your genitals and um, it has a lot of similarities, but it just stays down there. So that's the skinny and that one only about 13%, but of this, of the population has it, but of the, um, of that 67% that has herpes one, most are asymptomatic. So you can have it and presumably transmit it without having symptoms. Although some people have quite, um, dramatic symptoms and this would be more, this would be a great thing to try. You, you may already know that the virus it shows up in the same spot over and over again because it recedes to the nerve root and then it comes back out that same nerve. So that's why that's what's going on. If you at the first sign of a tingle, this when this remedy works the best, it is a combination, it's a tincture, it's a combination of lomation, which is a very, very strong antiviral. And I also recommend that for uh, it's, it has respiratory indications as well. And it's probably the most strong um, antiviral Western herb that I know about. So you can take that for the coronavirus as well. I mean, you follow your doctor's recommendations, but I would recommend that you could take this remedy preventatively for if you already have herpes and you get um, outbreaks often enough, you could take this as a preventative for coronavirus and be unlikely to have a herpes outbreak during the time that you were taking it bonus um but and then lemon balm is in there too and lemon balm is also antiviral it is dentaler i love it for kids at the first sign of an infection it is also uh, it's the fresh herb tincture of the fresh herb which is how you, you need the oils in the lemon balm to be medicinally effective and the Oh, lemon balm has a lot of other properties that I really love, aside from being an antiviral. One is that it's um, helpful if you're um, fear of public speaking. So, especially if you had one on your face, this could help you um, both minimize the physical aspects of it, but also make you feel like more comfortable speaking. So that's nice. And then my favorite quality of, of lemon balm is that it's great when you need a friend. And I think sometimes when you're having a problem like that, you really feel like you need a friend and maybe you don't feel like you can talk to friends um, or depending on where your, your herpes lesion is, you might not want to see anybody. So you take that at the first sign of infection for strong um, antiviral properties. And and so I've, I've um, I can't remember at this point where I read about this combo, but whoever came up with that, or pass that in my direction. I'm really, a lot of people I know are really grateful for the remedy, um, and it does taste pretty strong. Lomation is a very, very intense flavor. So, with that in mind, just I recommend taking it in some water, and then it's still expected to taste strong, and just chug it. Uh, normally, with tinctures, I put a few drops on top of my tongue. Uh, homeopathics, I put they melt under the tongue but the alcohol can be irritating over time to that mucosa under your tongue so you want to put the tincture on top of your tongue if it's a pleasant enough tasting herb but if it's not like this one then you might want to put it in something else that you're drinking and just know that it's a strong flavor but i know people who at first did not want to take it for that reason 
<laughs> but then they realized that it was helpful and they just went ahead with it every time and then they loved it. So at the first sign of the tingle and then it tends to like stop it moving into that larger, um, less attractive sore. Yeah. So you can get that on the website. Please let me know how that works for you. Um, there's no clinical trials that I'm aware of on this. So just, just good old fashioned herbal fun, healing your own self. And then I promised I would talk about two other remedies. So I will talk about sexy smokes and ladies thumb. Ladies thumb is a great aphrodisiac and fertility medicine. It's a fertility medicine for, um, late in life, uh, fertility problems like maybe you've never been able to get pregnant and then late in life you're still trying that's a good one it's um it's very lubricating it's for the fertility thing it tends to lubricate those fallopian tubes and get that egg swishing through um but it's a very strong aphrodisiac as well for women I'm talking about for women and um, I used to put some in some truffles that I made they were called love balls and they had a few different ingredients but that one was the most strong one and I did get a lot of um, rave reviews from women on that saying that the ladies thumb did make them feel more wet and did make them um, Oh, well, one lady, before we had even put out the whole batch of truffles, like we hadn't had it stickered up or anything, she came in. She was like, do you have any of those ones, those red ones? And um, she bought all of them. She let her friend have one. And <laughs> I was, like, wondering if they were for some, like, party, like a bachelorette party. And she was like, no, they were they're for personal use. <laughs> so um, I wish I had them all the time, but it's too hot right now to make truffles, so... I can't have that have as much fun having that around all the time. So that's the ladies' thumb. It's on there. And a um, customer just reached out to me that it's also good for ADHD. And that is the first time I've heard that. So you might want to do your own research into ladies' thumb. Also, um, it's in the knotweed family. So you can look at it for that. And please let me know if you have any leads on that ADHD aspect of it, because I had not heard of that. I mean, I think the first thing that I think of with that is just that it's very grounding. It is, it is drawing a lot of energy into your, your pelvis, your, um, your lower energy centers. So if you have too much energy up here, it could be helpful, but I'm sure there's that, that remedy is, if that's a good one for ADHD, it's more nuanced than that. And Lady Sum is also not something I've been able to find in herbal commerce. I learned about Lady Sum from Matthew Wood as just as a fertility medicine. And then when I tried it, that's when I realized it had some other sides to it. So that's one. And then Sexy Smokes. Um, <laughs> uh, Sexy Smokes has Damiana, Blackberry Leaf, uh, hibiscus, rose, and mullein in it. The mullein is for your lungs, uh, to protect your lungs. It is a harsher smoke. Uh, so people who really enjoy, uh, they don't, if you don't normally smoke lights, if you smoke like more, um, I can't remember what the regular cigarettes are called. It's been so long since I had a cigarette. Uh, but you know, not the lights. If, if you're not a light person, then you'd probably be more into the this blend because it's a stronger sense of uh, that smoke going in because you need to have a certain amount of Damiana in there to get the effect. And the effect is um, Damiana was traditionally used for um, in Mexico for brides to smoke on the night of their wedding for prior to consummating their marriage. So that's its traditional use. And that in traditional use often provides like good insight into uh, safe use of the plant. So it does really draw your again, it, it is an effective aphrodisiac. I feel like it is way more effective smoked than drink consumed in other ways. Like I've had it in chocolates, I've had it in teas and I didn't really notice much of anything. It has other properties so it might be helpful in, for um, taken in non-smoked for the other properties but for the aphrodisiac properties I'm feeling like it's very uh, diminished if you're not smoking it and, th and that's how it is with smoking herbs like some properties will come out when you smoke something 
some when you drink it as tea, some as a tincture. Raspberry leaf is a great example of how an herb can have different, really different properties depending on how you consume it. Um, whether you're getting like the more of the energetic properties through smoking it, or more of like the mineral, the minerals, etc., through drinking it as tea. Um, it's going to be more fast acting as a tincture or a smoke than as a tea, etc. Um, so yeah, Damiana is an aphrodisiac. I feel like effects range from I want to cuddle to instant wood. Uh, it is it works for men and women, and um, you should be prepared to you should know that it may not it may have very subtle effects for you. It also varies depending on where you're at in your your hormonal cycle. Um, you should know that it could be subtle, but it also could be like a very um, obvious effect for you. So just keep that in mind. That's how herbs are, you know. It could be a mild effect with any herb or a more dramatic effect. It depends on how sensitive you are as well. Blackberry leaf is really um, grounding and nourishing to that, those lower energy sensors, bringing in a lot of sensuality. And I feel like clearing out um, traumatic residues. And hibiscus is also just really enlivening, enriching, um, just a really rich energy, all that redness, um, bring, going into the first chakra, clearing out trauma, breaking through obstacles. So, and then um, rose, and that is, you know, to help bring your heart into the equation. So that what you're having is sex that feels more fun, uh, doesn't remind you of any bad memories. Because, you know, even if you haven't had a very serious, a traumatic experience, most people who've had sex have had, um, you know, more than a few times, have had some sexual experiences that were better than others. So just uh, these herbs are helpful for, like, clearing those out and re-enlivening and, you know, bringing in the heart so that it's a whole body experience. Um with a little bit more emphasis on the on the um, fun zone. Yeah, I hope that you um, can get some healing out of some of the herbs that I just talked about. And I love to hear people's feedback. So if you have some to share with me, you can write it in the comments or you can email me through the website brownbearherbs.com. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.